Hi, my name is Noma Langam Sally Moses with Healthy Black Woman, and this is my good friend Shaquita Graham, uh, founder of Loving the Black Man and Atechco.com. How are you doing today, Shaquita? I'm doing good, Noma. I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Um, this, of course, is a segment of Your Black Women, where black women keep it real. And today our topic is um, it's a, a hot topic that um, we both saw today, which is uh, Bill Cosby is finally being charged with rape. Um, so what now? Um, so, uh, Chiquita, what are your thoughts? Well, you said it's a hot topic. I think this topic has been incinerated. I mean, it's just amazing to me how this constantly stays at the top of, of uh, the legal world, uh, the, the media. Um, and, you know, I'm like LeBron. I just don't have enough facts to make a statement. I, I just don't know enough about this. It happened 10 years ago. Things that I know about, like watching someone be suffocated on camera, watching someone be killed and shot within one second of the police arriving, I can speak more on that than I can about some, something that happened to someone 10 years ago that no one has seen this take place. There's seems to be limited evidence, but, you know, again, I, I think that investigation needs to be done, and after five years, maybe we can know what happened. Okay. So when you're talking about um, we don't know what happened, you're saying that this woman says that she was raped, but we don't know if she was or wasn't. That's what you're saying when you're saying we don't know. But what you're saying is when we balance that with the fact that we're seeing on the news every day that young black men and women, mind you, are being killed at the hands of law enforcement. Um, and we actually sometimes do see footage of it actually happening. Um, and then sadly, eventually see a verdict that says that those people who kill those people, the, those black people, are not going to face consequences for what they did, at least not legally and at least not where they're going to lose their jobs. So I just want to clarify what I think you're saying. Uh, well, what I'm saying is that, just like you, you mentioned, we see a video that seems like somebody is being suffocated by the police, but we're told we don't have enough evidence and we don't have enough facts surrounding it to intelligently say that's what happened. So if this case that happened 10 years ago, and I have no evidence, no video, I mean, how can I speak on that? If we can't speak on these things, I definitely can't speak on that. Um, except, of course, to say, um, except, of course, that's my phone ringing. I mean, we can ignore it. Um, and, of course, yes. um, except to say that a woman is saying that this happened to her. Um, right. And, mm -hmm. you know, being a woman, myself and you being a woman, I think we do have to address the fact that we have to be mindful of taking the position right away of, you know, dismissing this very serious thing that she says happened to her. Um, you know, I have, you know, I, again, I am a woman. I have other women that I love, young women, da a daughter, stepdaughter, sisters, aunts, and so forth. And I want to believe that if something horrific happened to them, they wouldn't automatically be told, well, you know, there's no evidence, so suck it up. Um, but then on the other hand, um, we do have to recognize that this is America, and when a black man is accused, he's as good as convicted. However, on this particular case, I've said that I, I, you know, I don't have a side that I'm on, whether I'm going to say, wow, how dare they accuse this man? Um, they do this to black men all the time. I'm not taking that position, nor am I taking the position of assuming that just because she said it happened, it happened. I'm not taking either one of those positions. I am, however, going to say it's hard to ignore that this man, Bill Cosby, has been accused by so many women. I mean, how many are there now? Over 40? But again, another thing that we have to add to the conversation is apparently there's a handful that have come forward since and said we were paid to just lie and said he did this, even though we knew that he didn't do this. So it's very complicated. It's very messy. 
Um, so what, what are your thoughts about that? Well, you know, I agree, you know, I don't want to see anybody mistreated. Um, and I think that justice should always be served. But again, I'm just a practical person. You know, I just try to take things for face value a lot. And I look at patterns. So when you look at the pattern of white women um, claiming that a black man was trying to rape them or harm them. I mean, that's what happened with Emmett Till. The woman is still alive today who said that women, Emmett Till whistled at her. And so I, I just start to think, well, if a woman was so offended by a teenager whistling at her, what would make 40, 50 different white women, maybe there's one or two black women there, um, who have been, you know, their their statements are are questionable. Uh, what would make them wait for decades? I don't care even if he was a millionaire. A white woman has historically been held her um, thoughts or her accusations, her claims are immediately acted upon, especially if it's a black male or a black woman, even to the point where it was a black child. And many times when men were lynched in our history, it was because a white woman said, you know, he did hey, something he to me. me. Right. So yeah. I look at those patterns and I say that, again, although I don't I don't see a full investigation, I haven't seen any evidence. So I can't come out against Bill Cosby and say that anything happened, because just because a lot of people say something doesn't make it true. They said that a lot of people said that Mike Brown had his hands up in the air and was shot in cold blood several times. And they said, well, just because a lot of people said it, it didn't mean it was true. So, I mean, if that's the way we're judging things in the media and in the, the pu public opinion, then I have to, you know, I have to be fair minded on each side. I'm not going to crucify Bill Cosby, but even though a lot of people say, well, Crucifying Bill Cosby doesn't matter one way or another to the black community because his, when he was, you know, doing well, his fame didn't matter to the black community as far as affecting it positively. So on his way down, it's not affecting the black community. But bottom line, I'm not going to ignore, you know, something like, for instance, uh, this new, this Glee star, um, Mark Sailing, who's found with pornography, people like Child Woody pornography. Allen. Child pornography. Child pornography was arrested, according to um, online publications and according to stories before Woody Allen, you know, had this relationship with a little girl that he adopted or something like that, allegedly. Mm -hmm. OK, so, you know, there's a lot. I don't see a lot of media about that. The Daniel Holtz Claw thing where he got away with raping over 13 black women and then because of no evidence 18 of those charges were thrown out and now all of a sudden with bill cosby i'm gonna jump to oh bill cosby this and bill cosby that because a bunch of people said it i, I don't see any evidence the investigation hasn't bared out the evidence as much as it, it had even in some of these cases on video so i mean that's my stance on that i mean i, I think my position is more like we need more evidence is my position. Okay. Now, how confident are you? Okay. Because a, a lot of people took the stance of, well, you know, he has all these accusers, but he hasn't been convicted. So he is in innocent. You know, even if there's a lot of suggestion that he did these and it's hard to ignore 40 or however many women there are, but the bottom line is, He's innocent because nobody has proven him guilty in a court in a court of law, number one. And then some people said, well, you know, there are documents that say that he, um, you know, he was in a, um, I've forgotten what it's called. Oh, a deposition. deposition. Yeah, in a deposition where he did admit and so forth. But people still say, well, wait, he's still not convicted. So we have to assume that he's innocent because he has not been convicted. Are you with me so far? So now yes. we're moving to a point where, okay, he is facing charges, but how confident are you? How confident are we that he will get a fair trial um, or that he won't? How do we know? 
How do we know that he will be convicted know? based on actually being guilty or that it doesn't matter whether he's guilty or not and that he's going to get convicted? How, how do you feel about that? Well, again, I mean, all we need to do is look at the history of the legal system and we see that really, I mean, okay, you have something like the Innocence Project where in cases where um, there's been no DNA evidence and things like this, black men have been repeatedly convicted of crimes. And the only way they've been freed is with DNA evidence or where um, even Dr. Boyce talked about a situation where a man was convict convicted of a crime without proper evidence. The true killer was found and this man remained in jail for over a decade. So the issue of whether or not black men receive a fair trial, because just like OJ, he reportedly received a fair trial. However, his his um, his persecution continued. You know, it's like, OK, when something happens in black society, when a black child or a black man is harmed, it's like, OK, well, listen, we went through the legal system. We've got to accept and we've got to leave it alone. But when it was OJ, it's like, no, we need to keep persecuting him. We're going to put him in jail, you know. And, and he's so still in jail Cosby, now. Right. So with Bill Cosby, unfortunately, I see a pattern that he's about to fall into. And if I had to predict, I'm going to say that if they, if enough people who dominate the legal system and dominate public opinion want, feel like they want this man in jail, he's going to be he's in jail. He's going to be in jail. I, you know, unfortunately, I have to agree with you. Um, I don't think... Again, I'm not taking a position on his guilt or lack of it. However, I don't think at this point it actually matters um, whether matter. or not he's guilty or not. I think that um, they have found the one thing that's going to take him down, and that's a case that's not too old to prosecute. Um, I think that when he goes to trial, people are not only going to consider that one case. They're going to look at those other 50 women. And even though, even if a judge says to the jury, listen, this is about this one case, focus only on this one case, those things are going to factor in. Um, whether mm -hmm. they should or shouldn't, neither one of us is a legal expert, um, so we can't say. But I do think that he's not on trial for that one one accusation. He's on trial for all 50. And it's likely yeah, that I he will be convicted. So another thing that I think about in that um, situation is there was once a, a little girl, a little black girl who mm -hmm. won. Um, she she owned property where they found oil. And she became a millionaire instantly. Um, I can't remember the little girl's name. I think her name was Sally. Mm -hmm. uh, I vaguely remember I reading yeah. about that. So, so the point was that when this little black girl back in, I don't know, it was during the times of segregation and Jim Crow, uh -huh. she had millions of dollars. The white people, there was a white person that suggested we change her status to white because she's rich so that she can ride these train cars and do these different things um, and, and make an exception for her. And I bring that to Bill Cosby to say his money could possibly make a, an exception for him, depending, again, on the people who dominate this, this system on the, the uh, media end and on the legal end, if they determine they will give him a pass for X amount of dollars and he has those dollars to spend. So it just depends on, you know, what the dominant society de uh, determines. Decides. They can say, you know, right. one minute this is legal, one minute this is not legal. One minute the, the, the witnesses, their opinion or their, their claims matter, one minute it doesn't matter. We just, you know, his money might free him. Right. Um, you know, and this is a this is an ongoing case. So the only thing we can do is wait and see. Right. <laughs> um, but, you know, the sad thing is we should be saying um, justice will be served and we should trust the justice system. But we've already pointed out two things or two reasons why we may not be able to. Money is a, a factor. Race is a factor. Um, so we just don't know and we'll have to wait and see. Um, but. 
I, you know, I just wanted to answer that question of, you know, there's been this ongoing question of why, why are people on his case if he has not been convicted? But now there's a possibility that he will be convicted. And sadly, that means that if he is, all those people that were held at bay because we could say, or they, or other people were saying, you know, he hasn't been convicted, that's all going to come tumbling down on him. You know, um, and unfortunately for him, even before he was convicted, there are a number of institutions that um, yanked back their doctorates and whatever other honorary degrees that they had bestowed on him. They took them back. So I know, and it's weird to me because, you know, you don't see that happening. Say, for instance, again, I'll just bring up Woody Allen because it's a well-known case. You don't see anybody ostracizing Woody Allen. Woody Allen, he's still held in high regard and high esteem. And if Bill Cosby did something to help those institutions, namely HBCUs, then why should they, um, at the behest of, I don't know, these just, again, evident Allegations. I mean, allegations. Allegations that are not backed by real evidence. Why should they um, withdraw and act like he didn't do those things? It, it's it's just, again, controlling your own narrative as an HBCU. Who can tell you who the heroes are and who can tell you who's supposed to be guilty and who's not supposed to be guilty? And when is it all right to commit a crime and when it's not? It's like, again, it's just kind of like a critical thinking skills time. You know, it's like, OK, just because somebody, a lot of people said something. I mean, you've seen whole towns massacred because they a group of people said that um, the, the first person, the youngest um, boy to be executed, 14 years old, he was executed because a bunch of people said that he raped two little girls. He dragged their body somewhere and did all of these things. 14-year-old black boy. So, I mean, again, no evidence, and a bunch of people said it. He went to the electric chair for it at 14 years old. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... This is where we are. <laughs> right. Um, uh, you know, uh, again, you know, with the topics that we've been discussing lately, we could go on and on and on. But, yeah. you know, the final thing Sadly. is this is ongoing, so we just have to wait and see. Um, and who knows, even if he does get a guilty verdict, who's to say he won't appeal it and it will go on and on and on. Um, you know, I'm reminded, funny enough, of Michael Jackson and how weary he was by the time that he died from years and years and years of fighting allegations. Um, and to this day, again, it's up in the air. We don't really kind of have a solid yes or no on did he do it or didn't he do it. It was always allegations, and then the allegations prompted more allegations, and then it was more um, cases and settlements, and it went on and on and on and on and on. Um, and uh, sadly, Bill Cosby is advanced in age, so how long could this go on before it kills him? Um, so we just don't know. We have to wait and see, and that's where we have to leave it. Um, so thank you, Shaquita, for sharing your thoughts on this topic. Thank you, Noma. Um, <laughs> thank you. To our viewers, I'm Noma Langham Sally Moses, and this is Shaquita Graham, and this has been a segment of Your Black Women, Will Black Women Keep It Real? Thank you for watching. Thank you.